Now that shooting happened early Tuesday morning on Royal Arms Drive near Franklin High School. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis joins us live with this update. Brianna. Stephanie, neighbors say it all started at this duplex. That's where two men were accused of trespassing. Eventually, neighbors say they made their way across the street and ended at another duplex. And that's where they were later shot, one of them by police. Our ex-neighbor got shot because they came back um, after they got evicted, tried to break into their old home. Police were called out for a report of two men trespassing. I think the neighbor thought there was some trespassing and then, well, they didn't know they were the ex home renters. Um, they maybe just thought it was like some random guys trying to break in. Neighbors identified one of the suspects as Efren who they believe was shot by police. One neighbor close to him says he and a friend used to live in the home, but they were homeless after being evicted. Que lo reconozco porque él vino también una vez. She said they came once to eat at her house and shower. She thinks they came back to protect themselves from the cold. Investigators have not said what made police open fire, but a neighbor told us what she heard during the encounter. Yo y el El ruid, el ruidazo, She's yo... saying she thought there was a crash until her friend said she heard six gunshots. La voz que dijo Efra, Efra. She's telling me she heard a familiar voice say, Efren, Efren, is my friend dead? And that's when she knew who was shot. And police say one suspect was taken to the hospital with serious injuries and the other was taken into police custody. Now we did reach out to El Paso PD to get more information on the investigation, but have not heard back. Police have also not identified any of the suspects. We'll continue to follow this story and bring the latest both on air and online at KVIE.com. But for now reporting in West El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC 7.